Good evening. Tonight, I would like to talk to y'all about the life of Barbara Walters. If you're walking down the Hollywood Walk of Fame and you look in between Jimmy Fallon's star and Destiny's Child star, you will see Barbara Walters. But who is she and why did she deserve this star? Well, I'll tell you today because we will be talking about her early life, how she became a journalist, and the different type of things that she did to build credibility and become the journalist that she is today. Barbara Walters was born in Boston, Massachusetts. She had one brother and one sister, and she, her father, owned a bunch of nightclubs, which started in Boston, Massachusetts, and went all the way down the coastline. Because there were so many nightclubs, a lot of celebrities started going to them. This is where Barbara Walters was exposed to talking to celebrities and interviewing them. This is what made her want to become a journalist. Barbara Walters then went back from Florida where she had graduated all the way back to New York to St. Lawrence College where she majored in broadcast journalism. Barbara Walters was then given the opportunity to work at RWCA TV. She then was, um, an assistant there and was able to learn kind of the behind the scenes of broadcast journalism and what it's all about before she was able to have her own big break. Her break, her own big break was moving to CBS and being able to follow Miss President Kennedy on her trip across the country. She there followed her around and interviewed her and was able to broaden her horizons as a journalist and this built up her credibility. Barbara Walters got many different opportunities. After being able to follow Miss President Kennedy, she then became the co-host of the Today Show. This was a big, huge accomplishment because she was the first ever woman to be a part of the Today Show, where she got her nickname, the Today Girl. Barbara Walters has then gone on and done other projects. She went on and went with President Kennedy, President Nixon, sorry, all the way to China, where she got to follow him and interview him along the way. She also has written many books and speaks to people about how to become a broadcast journalist. She also, from there, has had her own shows. She does The View, and she also does the 10 Most Fascinated People of the Year. Every single year, she has the thing where she interviews the most 10 popular people and one of her most famous questions is asking them, if you could be any type of tree, what type of tree would you be? Which I find really fascinating. Barbara Walters has also won many different awards. The first award that she won was an Emmy in 1975. She was able to get this Emmy because of her amazing accomplishments on the Today Show. In conclusion, Barbara Walters is an amazing journalist. She was given many opportunities and was able to extend her horizons and become an amazing broadcast journalist and lead the pathway for women in her, uh, in her field. She showed that you do not have to be a man to have a certain job, that any job that you want to have, you can have. And she proved that by being one of the first of her kind. I find her really inspiring because she was a trailblazer and she couldn't look up to people in front of her. She had to go on and do her own thing and learn from herself on how to do things. And this is why she is so credible and why she won so many awards because she is a trailblazer. So today I told you about Barbara Walters early life. The amount of opportunities Barbara Walters was given throughout her time and what she's done with those opportunities to make her one of the most credible journalists of all time. She's gone on and done many different things, but she'll always be the today girl. And I would like to conclude this by saying that Barbara Walters is one of the best journalism is of all time. Thank you.